outside and you guys get you guys get kind of foggy whenever I walk outside here. Let me clean you up a little bit. There you go. So I got this package today. Um and it says screaming turtles. This is from my uh, father, stepmother, and brother and sister, and I've heard some pretty cool things about this package. I've been excited to get it. They sure did tape this up good. Alright, I can already tell it's getting good. Y'all can hear Emmy crying. Can one of you go get her? Oh, she stopped. Thanks. Good job. But this this is for Bailey. We'll have to let her open that. I get um I get the best brother award. Best brother first. I don't have any tape to stick that to myself. Thank you, Ava. I I am the best brother. Oh look, we got some. Cool sunglasses. I don't. I don't think these are for me, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. All right. I think. I think this one is for me. Ah. See, because it says my name. My name is Tanner. It says I'm the best. Thank you. I am. Thanks. Let me get. Let me get another one. Hey, it, EJ started crying again. Um, whatever you did a minute ago to make her stop, can you go do that again real quick? Oh, this one, this one is for Emmy. I bet, I bet if I went in there and showed this to Emmy right now, she would stop crying and be happy and go to sleep. I bet. That's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. That is very, very sweet of you to send for us. Oh, and Emmy gets some bow tie headband thing. She'll she'll enjoy that, but not till tomorrow. All right, it's time to go try to do some chores real quick before it gets too dark. I I guarantee when we walk outside, y'all are probably gonna fog up really bad. This is the humidity in Texas, if you didn't already know. Look at that, there you go. You're fogging up. I mean, these glasses are fogging up. Is it you that's fogging up or is it the glasses? Sunglasses. Let's, let's fix this. All right. Maybe, maybe that'll be good to go. We'll see. You know, I needed these earlier today whenever it was a bit brighter than it is now. What's up, Golden Girls? You guys probably need a refill on the feeds. So if you didn't know, we built a Justin Rhodes chicken tractor. We've had a minute for, I think about three, no, maybe two weeks. I think two weeks now. Yeah, because this is week number two. They were right here. The pigs were here, I don't know, about a month ago in this whole area right here. And then, you know, they secessioned on behind the, behind the shed and now they're all the way across the farm. But we, we moved the chickens back here a couple weeks ago and I just moved them to this spot this last week. This is gonna be another garden area. I keep saying that, we're just gonna have garden areas all over the place. like. We're Oprah with garden areas. You get a garden area, you get a garden area. Everyone gets garden areas. So I already messed with the cows earlier today. I'm gonna try to see if I can be out here without them coming up here, but they're right there and looking at me, so I'm sure they're gonna show up. What's up, Chris McCarty? Oh, you know what? I totally messed up. 
I started the pig waterer earlier, like, I don't know, an hour ago, and I forgot to turn it off, so it's definitely overflowing with water. <laughs> Rule number 11 with owning a homestead and having animals, don't forget to turn off your water. It's a, kind of a waste. Now, they're not going to think that's a waste because they're just going to wallow in right there. But now I'm going to have to like move the water bucket here soon because I'll just make a big old hole. Now we talked about it just the other day and I'm super excited about this back pasture. We talked about it the other day during our rotational grazing video for a collaboration with Freedom Foods Farm and Smith Family Ranch. And we looked at our back pasture back here and I, it was kind of half mowed, half not. But I finished. I finished mowing this section of it. I still have another section over there. I still have more to go. This is a 16 acre pasture back here. And now at this point I have about 10 acres of it. Well, no, I'd say about, and now at this point I have like eight to 10 acres of it mowed. That's a big accomplishment. I've, <laughs> you know, we've been here for three months and I feel like I've been mowing every single day, but there's always something that just kind of gets in the way. I break too many shear pins or I run over a wire or, you know, it gets too hot and tractor overheats. Anyways, I've had so many different issues trying to mow this, mow this, this property. We're finally making it happen. It's finally getting done. And what I found is that I kind of just needed to get in and pull up all the fencing. So I got out here this last weekend and it was my big project was pull down fencing as much as I possibly could pull down. So from this point, I did leave this corner section still fenced in with the T-post because I have plans for it. We haven't let y'all in on a little secret and I'm not going to yet, but there's something coming. Something coming that this little two acre section right here is going to be really handy for. But from this, this corner post all the way back to the back of this pasture, we pulled up all of the T post, 1500 feet of fencing between here and the front pasture. This was about half of it. This is about 800 feet of pasture. And we did about seven, 700 feet of pasture out in the front. 150 T post guys with a manual T post puller. I know some of you have probably done that before, but man, <laughs> I'm still tired. My, my shoulders are sore getting your farm fit workout for sure. You don't need to buy a, a gym membership. Your gym membership is the farm. Get out and pull some T-post. Most of those T-posts have been in the ground for 20 plus years. So the bottoms are like almost calcified into the dirt. I, you know, oh, oh. reliving it hurts. But now it's done and we can get, we can start to move on to our new fencing project and getting new fence built. I'm like pouring sweat and these are getting all wet. Guys, these don't, these sunglasses don't fit my face. They're not meant for me, I know. My sister sent me these for Emmy, but I just laid Emmy down to go to, to sleep. So she can have them in the morning. I'll break them in for her. So out here I pulled up all of the fencing, the, the wire, the poly wire and poly braid that they were using for fencing for this area. And we pulled up all of the T-posts from this gate all the way down to the corner. So total about 1500 feet of fencing and 150 T-posts all in one day by myself. I, you know, I don't really need to highlight on that, but I was by myself and I feel like that makes a difference. We're getting things cleaned up at Fuller Farms. It's been three months of a lot of work, a lot of pumping the brakes because things have gone wrong or it wasn't the right time to do something. But it, it kind of feels like now, you know, the ball is kind of rolling, things are happening. Our pastures are looking beautiful. 
Our animals are looking beautiful. And that's just Monday, guys. Let's see what tomorrow has for us. It's so pretty. Hey, here, put these on. <gasps> yeah. Yes, rock out. Go find them ladies out there. This, this little fella, that's gonna be dinner in about six months. Bailey and I got talking and decided that since we don't currently have, since we don't currently have any bull calves to steer, that you know if we wanted to have homegrown beef grass-fed beef we should probably get started on that so lucky for us jeff over at smith family ranch had an extra steer and was gracious enough to sell them to us so now and we got we got our our butcher day booked and booked in april We'll have some really nice grass-fed beef here next year. We're excited for that. Hi, Mama. How you doing, honey? I think, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the black cows, just, you know, because of the benefits of non-black cows. You know, Red and Sheila have really great benefits compared to the black cow, as far as the flies go and the heat here in Texas. But I do love this cow. She is uh, really docile and the only one that lets me come up and come up and hug on her. She's really sweet. We're getting there with the others. I don't think that they're going to allow me to hug them, maybe ever. But we're getting closer to being able to kind of pet on them, touch them a little bit. And I bet it'll only get a little bit better as, as time goes on. That's our delivery, guys. We got a we got a steer on Fuller Farms. We got some. So at this point now we have pork being raised, and now we have some beef being raised here. I wonder when chickens are gonna happen, like meat chickens. I bet it'll be sooner than later. Of course, I've already looked into it. 